Hi, and welcome to Horse Sense today. Well, it's Thanksgiving, doing something a little bit different. We're gonna show you some of our family traditions, mainly our homemade cinnamon rolls that the family enjoys every Thanksgiving. I was uh, thinking from uh, the book of Psalms this morning, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy and steadfast love endures forever. God is good, it's good all the time. And God's people are good. And so when we take this time out with family, regardless of how the state wants uh, six people or no more or eat outside and all the mandates and rules that they're giving us, just enjoy your family, be sensible and be safe. But I love the thought of traditions. The Book of Horse Sense says, I think in chapter 29, that there is rising up a generation that does not love and honor their father and that their teeth are set on edge. So I thank God that children and grandchildren meet with the parents and grandparents around the table and enjoy the tradition of Thanksgiving by which we uh, pause and thank God for the many blessings he has given us through the year. So enjoy the little clips today and have a great Thanksgiving. Well, it's Thanksgiving time. Horse sense today is a little bit different. Jan has been making these cinnamon rolls for a long, long, long time. Probably 50, 50 years as far as being in the family. And uh, she makes them for uh, uh, birthday prizes for the kids and grandkids and then for the holidays. So you get to see a little time lapse there, but tradition means a lot to us when it comes to food. And we even have Caitlin in here today and teaching her the Family secret of cinnamon rolls. Now, it's my favorite part. The richness that goes in. About seven pounds of butter, it looks like to me, is what we start with. And then the sugar and the cinnamon. You know, it's all on the inside what counts. The, uh, the outside is just window dressing, but the inside, the butter, the cinnamon, the sugar, and the little bit of secret technique make the cinnamon rolls good, and it makes life good as well. It's what's on the inside that always counts. It's out of the oven time. Wait, 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 wait. As Jan's getting them to that perfect point, but they still gotta cook a little bit. And that's what your finished product should look like. And one of our birthday kids will get that for their birthday surprise and Thanksgiving meal. Now, my job during the Thanksgiving preparation is to remind everyone that a clean refrigerator is a happy refrigerator. So while they're doing all their little things, I organize the fridge for them. A good organized fridge is very, very important. All right, now we're coming to the good part. You got to put the topping on it, which is a little bit more of butter. And this is Caitlin's first time on it, and the boss is watching her very close. Tracy is now involved in this project <laughs> as well. Now we've got three good. generations working good. on the icing. You know, presentation is everything. It's got to look good. And with butter on top, with powdered sugar icing, how can it be bad? Yeah. We cooked all the sugar out. Cooked the sugar out. Yeah. What goes on top, it makes the, the rest of it look really, really cool. and tastes great. Next is going to come the powdered sugar over the top of the heated butter. No, no. We it's don't all do mixed that? up in the. It's all mixed oh, it's up already mixed up in the, the butter. I'm sorry. 
I'm the filmer. I'm not the creator of cinnamon rolls. And that's how we do it. Oh, sorry. Every year at Thanksgiving. <laughs>